day and welcome to Suns TV, coming to you from the very chilled out cabanas and our foundation partner Southport Sharks as we get ready to take on the Brisbane Lions in Q Clash 3 at the Gabba. We have a packed show for you today, so let's get cracking. Today we go one on one with Jared Brennan, give you the chance to win with Suns Gold and make you a reporter on the social network. That plus a whole lot more on Suns TV. Each week on Suns TV, we love being able to take you behind the scenes to get to know the boys a little bit better. This is 60 Seconds of Sunshine, starring Gary Ablett. Uh, just hanging out with Zach Smith. Best line from the movie. Um, can't think off the top of my head. <laughs> I do actually. Uh, Chicken fillet with uh, cut up with sun dried tomatoes and camembert cheese in it. It's exceptional. Not as many as Josh Fraser. Uh, in my group, I'd say Dave Swallow, um, and I like some of it, and other stuff's not great. <laughs> Coach's pet, Josh Fraser, no doubt. Uh, I'm in my American sports, NBA and NFL. Uh, I would say other lives, but. Uh, Obviously I was a Geelong supporter growing up, so probably my dad. Um, New York. Zach Smith. Each week we want you to interview your favourite Gold Coast Suns players or even the coaches in our social network. Simply email your question along with your name and the name of the player or coach you want to interview to digital at goldcoastfc.com.au. It's the same deal if you follow on Facebook or Twitter. Post your questions and they'll answer them on next week's social network segment. And remember, if you can't make it to the game, you can still get involved in the game day action by simply hitting up our Facebook page or join in the conversation at Gold Coast FC using our match day hashtag AFLLionsSons. Today, the Gold Coast Suns take on their closest rivals, the Brisbane Lions, in Q Clash 3. What's the game plan? Well, we're about to find out as we talk tactics with head coach Guy McKenna. I think for this year, um, it was the first game this year we've actually had a bit of effort. Um, Got in one of the contested footy, won some clearances, and we're actually able to show our fans and supporters the style of footy we wanted to play. So, great for that result, and uh, obviously, what would be more pleasing is we continue in that frame of mind for the rest of the season. But now, with a spinning pirouette out of trouble, Swallow, Riscatelli, 30, goal! I think we've worked them fairly hard and put some weight on and size on some boys. and. 29 personal bests, but uh, we just weren't able to deliver in rounds one and two on that. And I think um, round three, they they realised what was required, rolling up their sleeves and getting their hands dirty. And um, individually, we had some great great results, um, but collectively, I think the boys gelled together, and that, that was a pleasing thing. Look, yeah, his his performances have been. Fantastic. I think it's good for the boys to see that too. At his age, the amount of preparation he puts into his week, um, it's not just about turning up on game day. It's, uh, it's recovery post-game. Three or four times over a 48-hour period, he'll be back at the stadium looking after his body to get it right so he can actually perform at 100%. I have no doubt we, we'll get better. We'll have better results when Gary's not getting 40 possessions, but more like 25 to 30 possessions. And the other blokes are actually getting more possessions, um, but we're, we're better off as a side and we're going to have better results then. I know there's been a fair bit of mudslinging um, prior to, to the first two and they fired a few shots and we fired a few shots, but I think the good thing now is everyone's been professional enough to get back into what, what's needed and it's a competitive game, a competitive effort by either side and yeah, it's after tonight, someone will go ahead and uh, let's hope it's us. This segment brought to you by Host Plus, the industry super fund of the Gold Coast Suns. Each week we'll put together a collection of quality performances and we want you to nominate your Host Plus Quality Performer of the Week. Just jump onto our Facebook page and vote either A, B or C to be in the running for an awesome Gold Coast Suns merchandise pack. And if you're looking for a quality industry super fund, just contact our foundation partner, Host Plus. OK, time now for Suns Gold. Ablett just continues on from where he left off. Yet another clearance. 
an opportunity. Well, this man, Matera, has set up the last two goals, and both times it's just with great composure. He didn't rush. And once again, he spotted someone out of the corner of his eye. That's been done again, Darcy. Uh, never end up uh, Angus Pomfrey's uh, off the footy. It was a legitimate shirt front. Nothing untoward in it. Here he goes. Bang. Bok over the back. Tries to bundle Carlisle under the ball. Succeeded. The clean pickup on the left. Centering ball. Hall's there to take the mark. Couldn't get it done. Headball. Off hands. Kept it alive. Magnificent. Little snap over the head by Hall. Some speed. Now there's no one forward, he has to go sideways. Bok gets on his bike. Can they close him down? He gathers, but he's not prepared for it. He may well punt the ball. It's going, he's kicked it. Box drawn the scores level. Carmichael Hunt's happy. Box happy. They're all happy. If I get Still to come on the show, we catch up with former Lions and now Suns star Jared Brennan, and we speak to Marcus Ashcroft about the Q Clash medal that was struck in his honour. You're watching Suns TV. For the very latest news and information, and to access brand new Suns TV content every day, just head to goldcoastfc.com.au. You can check out 2012 membership options, player profiles, detailed coach interviews, plus heaps more. If you're a fan of Facebook, make sure you like our Gold Coast Suns Facebook page. It opens up a whole new world of competitions and chances to win exclusive Facebook prizes. If you're looking to immerse yourself in the game day conversation, simply follow at Gold Coast FC and include our match day hashtag each week to get in the game. Today in Spotlight on Community, we take a look at the National Indigenous Under-15 Kickstart Championships being held right here at South Port Sharks on the Gold Coast. So we're here at the National Kickstart Championships. It's a fantastic week, of course supported by the AFL and giving 150 young Indigenous people the opportunity to play for their state and then buy for a position in the Flying Boomerangs. It's just the sort of program we love to see as a federal government. It has all of the hallmarks of providing an opportunity for young people to explore their own potential and get a taste of what it's like to, to work and, and train and play in an elite sporting environment. To get to this point we engage some 600 young Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people from over 100 Indigenous communities throughout this country so it's their first entry into our talented player pathway and it's a transition point uh, for them and their families to move into our elite pathways uh, that we have. So I've come there and had a look obviously a lot of natural talent and um, yeah, they're, they're great young kids so it's, it's good to watch. Nobody could argue there's a shortage of Indigenous talent in this country. Um, so our role is to ensure that the attitude is there and the opportunity is there. They're all respectful, but that's, that's a big thing for uh, these boys here. The education for the off-field sort of stuff, you know, going to school, being respectful at school and um, respectful to the community. And um, they all own, they've all been um, great and had a great attitude this week. They're all going to school because that's part of the commitment to this program and they're already incredibly successful. What this week gives them is a, is a taste for what the elite pathway going further will look like and I think it will ignite a hunger in, in many of the young people here. I'm Aaron Hall and I'm Liam Patrick and you're watching Science TV. TV. 
So understand that this is the most important session you do for the week. If I'm ever going to be any good, I've got to be a one-touch player. If I'm a double fumbler or I'm sloppy with my hands and my touch, I'm no good. It's definitely coming on the inside of your leg. There we go. It's a uh, very important session for the boys. They uh, come off a weekend of pretty uh, uh, physical contest and uh, while we don't want them to go quick, we want them to be uh, elite with their hands and, and get that extra touch in that they need, get back into the swing of things, get their bodies moving, uh, loosen up, uh, but, but also uh, do everything. We're asking them to do everything at, a, at an elite level and, and to focus on doing that so we don't waste anything and everything's purposeful. You create habits by everything you do, every little thing you do will create some sort of a, a muscle memory in, in you and, uh, and a habit and, uh, and so we, uh, we, we do a lot of repetition but we just want that repetition done in an elite manner so that you, like, as you talk about habits they become elite habits. He is comparable to when I was uh, playing at Brisbane and Simon Black came on the scene and uh, just an unbelievable professional at a very young age. He just wants to do everything uh, better than everyone else. He wants to do it as well as he can possibly do it. He's just an elite minded person and uh, uh, it's a rarity but he's, he's just uh, added already to the group the, the professionalism that a footballer needs to have um, in, in his whole whole of life on field, off field. So he's, um, he's that sort of guy that um, I think is destined for a leadership of the footy club in the future just by the way he goes about things. I think um, what, we, what we have here is an opportunity to start the week being clean, being elite and then to build into our main session on Wednesday and, and that's, why, that's why we just have such a, a value on this session, getting into the week and not just uh, falling into the week almost. When we do this session from now on in we respect it and we understand that it's going to set us up for the week, right? because we have to be one touch pilots. If you're a mega fan of sport and big events, the new Mega Fan app is a powerful friend. It's the essential insider's guide to all Queensland stadiums, including Metricon Stadium. Mega Fan puts information about the latest events at your fingertips. Find your gate, your seat, the nearest bar, ATM, transport, it'll even tell you the way home. Mega Fan puts Queensland's best sporting arenas and entertainment venues in your pocket. It's everything you need to know before you attend a concert or a game of AFL, cricket, rugby union, rugby league or soccer. This awesome free app gives you loads of useful info about all nine major Queensland venues, including Metricon Stadium. The mega fan features include the ability to browse upcoming matches and events, check stadium maps and seating plans, view transport options for each venue, keep an eye on live scores, view stadium food and drink menus and purchase tickets online. You can even view great sporting moments from each stadium. Mega fan, where Queensland comes to life. Yeah, it is, it's a fantastic honour to have um, a medal name in your honour. You don't think about those things uh, when you're playing footy or when you finish playing footy, but to have it um, now, um, it's, it's, it's a great thing to have. And I guess playing against the Brisbane Lions, the old team, would um, be nothing better than to uh, see the Gold Coast Suns win and a Gold Coast Suns player walk away with the medal. And I think uh, every year you retire from playing footy, uh, the easier it gets. I've been retired now for nine years, which is a long time. So for me now, I'm um, dedicated to the Gold Coast Suns and the cause of, of winning a premiership. Well, I think the way we've been playing as a Gold Coast Suns team, uh, someone that's been competitive, that actually goes out there and plays the game hard but fair, um, but really puts their head over the ball, um, is good at contested footy, and I guess is able to use it fairly well and, um, and, and be very proactive going forward with the ball. And I think our guys would, uh, their confidence would be sky high after last week. Uh, having played the way they did, we were very proud of the way they played and the way they, um, they cracked in at the ball. Um, and we expect nothing less tonight from them to actually go out there, be competitive, and then hopefully that competitiveness will turn into a win. I had a very fortunate career with Brisbane. Uh, the, the three premierships you can't go past. Uh, the first one is one of those games that you just can't believe you got there, but to finish on a high, over 15 years, to finish the last three years playing in a grand final and actually winning it, for me, um, very lucky. After the break, we catch up with Sun star Jared Brennan and we get your questions answered on the social network. G'day, I'm Anthony and you're watching Sun's TV. 
TV. Go the Suns! You don't have to live on the Gold Coast to show your support for the Gold Coast Suns. Membership start from just $50 and our membership team have designed a host of fantastic packages to suit every situation and budget. Simply visit goldcoastfcmembership.com.au to secure your 2012 Gold Coast Suns membership and remember that members are the lifeblood of our club. Now for all the latest official Suns merchandise, head to gcsunsshop.com.au where right now you can get these authentic on-field training tops for only $45 each but only until midnight Sunday. You can also get to the shop via our Facebook page where you can take advantage of Facebook Friday specials and members get 10% discount on all items. Hanley's out. Merritt's not. Goal. Oh, he's, yeah, Holding the ball. the ball. Wonderful tackling. Jared Brennan. What a night he's had. When the draw comes out, this is one of the games that I uh, that I have a look at straight away. Um, obviously, being a former line, having a lot of friends up there, it's a. Uh, it's an intense rivalry, you know, even though they're my mates, I don't want them to win and I probably, probably think they're the, the same. square, it goes, Brennan got their second. Yeah, definitely it was a tough one. Um, a lot of reasons for and a lot of reasons against, but in the end, uh, I think I made the right decision to come into the Goldie. A lot of the boos and that I was copping, you know, you can have so no, they, they don't can normally cop them, so the Gowdy, so copping them was a bit strange, but... I think it was a good to win a Marcus Ashcroft medal and also the, I played a few games with Choppers um, back in Brizzy. Um, you know, he's just a stalwart of the game for Queensland, so to win that in honour of him was, was a great, was a great achievement. With a young team, the hard thing is consistency week in, week out. And, um, so it was going to be very tough to do that, but I guess we've put ourselves in good stead. We had a good hit out last weekend against the Bombers. It's a very, probably, the, probably the most physical game we've played for a long time at the Suns. So. So that probably put us in really good stead. Um, hopefully we can come out and have another physical game against Brisbane. Yes, I think Brownie will play his first Q clash. For both teams, I'm pretty sure Campbell Brown will be back in as well. He's, pretty, he's our hard man and their hard man will be back in as well. So um, it should be a good contest, I think, with Gaz firing up and firing as well. And um, they got some really good up-and-coming midfielders as well that you're going to, going to need to shut down um, who can be damaging on the scoreboard. So I think it should be a good test for us and we'll... Uh, Wait and see how we go, but it's definitely good for the fans in Queensland to get to get the two Queensland teams playing, and hopefully, can build keep building this rivalry and make it real strong. Thanks for your question, Damien. Um, yeah, it's a good question. The toughest opposition player I've had to face in my career. Uh, there's been a number of them, but I'd have to say Fremantle's Aaron Sandilands. Uh, just through sheer size and weight, um, enormous man to try and get around in a ruck contest and it's quite agile for a big fella as well, so uh, poses a lot of problems around the ground, so I'd have to say he's been my toughest opponent. My hardest opponent would probably be Joel Selwood from Geelong. Um, he's just fierce at the contest, runs hard and I guess that's why he's so respected um, you know, among the competition. Uh, the hardest opposition player I've played on uh, is probably Andrew Crack from Collingwood. Uh, he's so silky and uh, smooth, uh, he was, he's pretty hard to get a hold of. Um, very slick in traffic and a uh, very good finisher. Uh, so it's a bit, uh, I guess, yeah, it's disappointing to find out that he couldn't play this year because he, uh, he did his knees, so I uh, wish him all the best. But yeah, he was uh, the hardest uh, player I've ever played on. Hey Damien, uh, I can see myself, I suppose, um if I work hard and keep at it over the next few years, um, becoming maybe um, one of the elite ruckmen in the competition, but you know, it's also got a lot of hard work to go. Um, I'm only in my second year still learning as, as a player um, and as a team. Um, you know, I look up to the guys like uh, Cox and um, Jamar, those sort of guys, and I go, um, yeah, that's where I want to be in a few years. Well, that's our show all wrapped up, but we will be back next week. Remember, for more Suns TV content, just head to our website and to be a part of the Game Day action, join us on Facebook or Twitter. Our Game Day hashtag is AFL Lions Suns. And remember, if you're planning to attend any of the Gold Coast Suns' 11 home games this season, make the most of your visit to Australia's undisputed home of entertainment. Indulge your senses as you explore the diversity of this vibrant city and discover why the Gold Coast truly is famous for fun. 
I'm Jess Garrett. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.